today on 151 News. Joe has COVID still. Yeah, again. I uh, still, took another, sorry. Yeah, we took another test. He tested negative. I thought positive. Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. <laughs> and today we're going to go through some things that we're actually kind of, we were curious about. Now, last week we did a video for the Forescan stuff where we changed the codes to be able to access all the GOAT modes. Now, the one thing we wanted to do is we wanted to show the difference between the run with the, the run with the, switch and the one without. Now, ironically, the one with the switch that has a giant foreskin on it does not, uh, is not the one sold or preferred on Forescan's website. This one is, the one without the switch. So what's the difference? We don't know. We have no idea. A lot of people are asking what's the difference between them. We don't know but we went ahead and bought this one, the one that's preferred off of Forescan's website, to see what the difference is. Now, today we're gonna go through the process of accessing the computer with either one. Now, the main difference between these are obviously the switch. Now, what the switch is, is to go from medium speed to high speed data transfer where this one, it's internal. It automatically does it. So you don't have to worry about miss, missing something or flipping can, a switch or something like that. Yeah, so. or you know, accidentally flipping it when you shouldn't have. This will do it for you. Yeah, it'll automatically take care of it. And we bought these. Now, this right here is about, I think it's about 25 bucks. They're really not expensive. This is probably like, what, 40? 50, it was forty nine ninety five. so about 50 bucks 55. for that one. It was delivered the very next day, uh, obviously through Amazon. I'll put the link down below for both of them. Mm -hmm. You guys, after this, if you want to do it or if you want to upgrade from this one to this one, if we find out it's an upgrade, you know, we'll see. We'll let you know at the end of the video what we think and which one we prefer. Now, like I said, I ended up buying this one because this is the one I see all the time on all the other YouTube channels. Other YouTube channels. It's cheaper, but does more cheaper mean more better? I've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching Donut Media, yeah, the, the high, high low. low truck. The high low truck, so I've been watching that. So this so. is the low, this is the high. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see which one's better, which one. And also, when we do this, what we're gonna do is a lot of people say that this actually downloads more stuff, so it finds more uh, computers or programs or whatever in there. We'll see. So we'll do a screenshot at the end of both tests to see what exactly the difference is of it, and we'll show you the comparison between the two end screens where we actually get to all the data. Um, so that would be kind of interesting because I'm actually kind of curious about that one. I've never seen somebody do that one on, on YouTube. It's always been this yeah, one. Yeah, well, you're going to see it here at 151. Yeah, you're going to see it here. So anyways, so That's we'll uh, see you out there. Subscribe and click on our channel. <laughs> yep. So you don't miss stuff like this. <laughs> so now that we're out in the car, what we're going to do is actually connect the different switches. Now, first, we're going to go with this. This is the one we used in a previous video. And what this is, is just a Forescan switch with the actually Forescan in it. Now, the other one is the one without. We're gonna go through step-by-step step of what we're gonna do. I'll put it up on the screen up into the point where it tells you what to, uh, whether it has a switch or not, it'll ask you the specific switch you have, whether it has this or not. When we get to that point, we'll use this one and then we'll turn around and when we use this one, the one without the switch, we will actually start from that point. We're not gonna go through the whole thing one more time, so connect. And we'll put up on the screen every step we go through, that way you guys know what we're doing as we did in the previous video.
So this right here is the first one where you want to load other things. You'll hit no on this one because you're not loading a, loading a previous data. You're not doing that. All right, here's the part where it has to switch. So this right here is the simple go to the switch. Now, what we're going to do on this one different than the last one is we're going to show you how many times it actually tells you to flip it from HS to MS and so forth. Uh, go ahead and hit yes, because this is the one with the switch. MS. Okay. HS. Okay. MS. Okay. You want to take a profile? Uh, before you do this, go ahead and screenshot this. We'll count how many they have versus the other one. And we will do this. I just don't want to clean, uh, clear this out just yet, if it does it. what we'll do right now is go through the numbers of how many there are. We'll count how many, count how many uh, flags we have, low caution things we have, especially the ones that have the cautions of what they actually say and see if there's a difference between the switch and the non-switch. Go ahead and head and hit yes. Okay, so right there, not too bad. You hit it, what, four times? Now that we three, have back three and times, forth, yeah. three times back and forth. So go ahead and close out. We will change out the switch and go with the one that is automatic switch. We're connecting to ELM. Please wait. The light changed green, if you guys can see it, now that it's actually connecting. It does have a red light and a green light, where this is a whole bunch of different, different lights in it. This just has a single light for it. Adapter is not optimized for maximum performance. This adapter should be able to work higher baud rate that would improve performance very significantly. Would you like to adjust the baud rate now? Yes. I think the other one had it the first time we used it, so. Oh, okay. Want to hit now? No. Okay, device is ready. And from this point forward, so the device that they have is the first time you use it, it comes up with it and actually adapts, whether it be the switch or this right here, to uh, work faster. Would you like to say profile for this vehicle? Now go ahead and copy that whole thing and we'll go through and see what's the difference because it looks like the other one did a little bit more but we won't know until we get it there and figure out which ones they uh, were different. Actually. So with this one, it never asked you whether it wanted a switch or no switch. Right. 
So it, it automatically di yeah, uh, it just did it. Figured out that it didn't need a switch. So that is something we didn't we didn't realize. Obviously, we never used the one without a switch yet. Yeah. But so it automatically does it that way. As you guys saw on the screen, if it needed to be like if there was any windows that would have popped up that it was switching back and forth, I would have called it out. But none of the windows popped up, so there was no reason for me to call anything out because it just automatically just did it on its own. So it was constantly doing the switching back and forth independently on its own accord. I'm saying it never asked mm -hmm. whether you had a switch that had a switch on nope. it or not. Never so, asked if I had a so switch. So it automatically or identified so, the one without the switch. That's yeah. interesting you didn't have to do that. Well, I think that's part of the setup of the, the computer device itself. When you plug yeah. it into the computer, it's yeah. already reading the device whether or not it's going to pop up all these other windows. Yeah, where this one right here, it asks you because it doesn't have that capability of doing it. So yeah. that's actually kind of interesting. I didn't know that. So there you go. You want me to hit yes? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You can never have too many fail safe areas. Yeah, that's wild. System so, restores are underrated. <laughs> yeah, so that right there is the biggest difference for it. Uh, it looks like when we get to it, I'll put at the bottom what the difference is between the amount of data we had coming from this one versus the one right here, the other one with the actual switch on it. Yeah. We'll do a we'll do some research and look at which one it is, and we'll put it at the very ba uh, very end of this video. The one thing that we had to say is it was surprising the fact that one it asks you if you had a switch when you were using this one, talking about the switch right here, and not the other one. So it already identified the fact that it had a switch on this one and didn't have a switch on the other one and never asked you. Nope. So that's something I didn't know. I figured you would have to press yes or no on whatever, but it already identified it, which really isn't that big of a step, just yes. Um, now, as you go through all the process of actually changing stuff, it does tell you to change from MS to HS periodically through the, uh, through the updates and stuff like that where the other one's not gonna ask you to do that. Is there a chance to miss it? If you're paying attention and actually following it, no. You can save yourself 20 bucks, but if you're doing it by yourself and you're trying to rush through the stuff, get the one without a switch. It'll automatically do it for you. We'll probably use the one without, without the switch from now on. We do have the other one just in case as backup, but as far as which one I like, probably the one without the switch. I think it's a little bit easier. Um, <laughs> you don't want to go flipping back and forth, do you? No, because it feels like I'm going to... Every time I hit the switch, it feels like I'm pulling the... The, oh, the uh, thing out. The thing out, because it doesn't clip in there. It just slides in, pressure fit, and as you move the switch back and forth, you can feel the whole thing wiggle. So Ooh. the less chance you do that, the better. Is it worth the 20... $25 extra, I don't know. Uh, it's not that big of, it's not that much for me, 25 bucks. But, you know, if you want to save yourself 25 bucks and half a tank of gas for this thing, absolutely, get the one with the switch. It'll be easier. You mean the Just, one without the switch? Or sorry, no, 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 I'm saying get the one with the switch. Save yourself some money, get the one with the switch. This yeah. is $25, the other one's 50. But, uh, you know, I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys subscribe. Uh, we plan on doing a lot more with, with Forescan and actually updating stuff on this Bronco as well as the other ones and show you guys the different processes of it, uh, especially when we get into changing tire size, the double honk, uh, and the, which fog is light. the fog lights and stuff like that. And we'll divide those up into... Each one of those will be a file. It yeah. will be a video. Yeah, we'll we'll do some of them as a pair because. And it will be in its own playlist. That way, you don't have to go um, searching through our videos to find. Oh, hey, where's that double honk video? It will be in the playlist yeah. of Four Scan. Yeah, we have a playlist for Four Scan. If you guys want to go down to our channel, I'll also link. I think I can link the playlist all together and down below. That way you guys can actually go to that one and everything for Forescan that we do with this. We'll put down there for you guys for easily find. Um, 
again, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And when more stuff comes out and we actually get the other Broncos and actually access all those things and see what those have versus this, we'll uh, let you know. Okay, bye.